Hey, welcome back. It's time to talk a little movies. Sunday's obviously the perfect day to do that. Josh Bell joining us. Always good to have you, Josh. Always good to be here. Uh, let's start off with a locally produced uh, horror film, right, that's going to be debuting? Yeah, uh, the Mahal brothers are local Vegas producers. They've made a bunch of these kind of B-movie uh, genre pictures, and their newest film is called Art of the Dead. It was shot here uh, with local cast and crew, also Tara Reid and Richard mm. Grieco, a few larger names. Sure. Um, so it, they, they have a, a good formula for these fun B movies and this is out now on DVD and VOD. You can get it on Amazon, you can buy it in Walmart, it's uh, all over the place and so cool to see these local producers kind of building up their own uh, production company and their own success and on a national level. Absolutely. All right, the Sahara West Library is hosting a free series of silent comedies, so yes. we're taking a step away from the Very horror films different. just for yes. a second. Yeah, yeah <laughs> they've got a couple afternoons of Buster Keaton silent shorts, so uh, definitely very different from horror movies. Um, but Buster Keaton, of course, an iconic uh, physical comedian, uh, right along with uh, Charlie Chaplin, uh, people from that era. And uh, you can see a lot of his uh, short films at the Sahara West Library on the 9th and the 16th for free uh, at 2 p.m. And I've seen a few Keaton movies. I haven't seen any of these shorts. So uh, it's all from the early 1920s. And uh, yeah, very different and, and kid friendly too. I mean, this, this stuff is, is very, it's simple, but it's timeless. I was going to say, I don't think I've ever seen a silent comedy. Are you actually going to laugh during it? I think you do. Okay. I mean, it, it, it varies. But I've, I've seen, again, not these, but I've seen some Chaplin films, especially uh, when they do with the live orchestra here uh, in Henderson. And the audiences will laugh. Absolutely. It's, Good. Guy falls down. Yeah, How right. can you not laugh? I love physical humor. Yeah. There you go. Chris Farley yes. being my favorite physical comedian. Yeah. Absolutely. This yeah. coffee table <laughs> crushes right through it. It's perfect. Yeah. Gets me every time. Uh, the next one is, is the one I'm looking forward most to talking about. Yeah. I'm a huge Breaking Bad fan and okay. anyone who's a, a moderate Breaking Bad fan knows that there is a movie coming out, a sequel called El Camino starring uh, Jesse Pinkman of course and it's actually going to be shown in theaters, right? Yeah, it's premiering on Netflix on October 11th but uh, we're getting it also in theaters here for that weekend so if you are a big, big Breaking Bad fan and you want to see this cinematic version on a big screen, you can go over to Maya Cinemas uh, the 11th through the 13th, they're going to be showing El Camino over there and I think it's great, I mean Netflix is great but the fact that we can get some of these movies in a theater as well. Uh, we're starting to get a little more of those here. Uh, I think is a very cool thing. I personally was not a Breaking Bad fan, okay. but I know it's got a huge following. Huge, and yeah. so for people who are into Breaking Bad, I think this is a great opportunity. And my fear, I know you share this fear with me, anytime you throw in a sequel there, you never know if it's gonna ruin the first right, one. Right, right. I think they've talked a lot about whether they wanted to go back to these characters or not. And I mean, it is the original creator involved, so hopefully sure. he'll do justice uh, to those characters. Come on, Vince Gilligan, come through. <laughs> we <laughs> come need a through. good sequel yes. here. I trust him, I trust him. All right, $5 uh, horror films on Friday nights at the Tropicana Cinema. Yeah, it's on Sunday nights, actually. Sunday nights. Sunday nights. Sunday the nights. $5 Fright Nights is what they're calling it. Oh, that's at what Tropicana I got Tropicana Cinemas, okay. yes. Uh, on Sundays through this month. And so we were just talking uh, just before about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh and that'll be there uh, next Sunday. It's a classic, maybe a little too intense for some, uh, <laughs> but it's a, it's a yeah, great so movie. Yeah, okay. It's a very well-made film. Uh, that'll be on the 13th at 7 p.m. for only $5. Uh, through the rest of the month, they're showing the original Nightmare on Elm Street, the original Halloween, all of those are classic, iconic, and just like great pieces of cinema. As much sure. as Buster Keaton movies, great pieces of cinema. Yeah, I remember the first time I saw this, I took a film class in undergrad and uh, we had one horror week and we watched this and I was sitting there and I was just like playing with my pen because I was so scared and I didn't want to <laughs> like show that I was scared, but yeah, yeah not, it's, not my favorite. It's intense and it may be too much, but um, as far as horror movies go, I feel like it's one of the most effective and just, it's 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 its own it, it's kind of unpar unparalleled i think mm. in where it comes from you wonder how did this even come about yes and that's rare to be able to see that in a horror movie and it was effective and terrifying me <laughs> <laughs> yes well if there's ever a time of year to indulge in the horror genre it's got to be the month of october of course yeah we're going to get more horror stuff coming up uh later this month as well as we go on i'm sure we'll talk about a few more horror movies even i might take part uh, as big a baby <laughs> as i can do yes. in horror yes. movies. come on ross yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right josh thanks so much for the time and uh we appreciate you being here yeah thanks for having yeah, me thanks. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back. We gotta take a quick break. Stay with us.